Okay, so now that I've shared with you the designs, I just want to give you a, a gloss over on how I'm actually going to manufacture these um, these pieces. So there are two canvases I'm doing in total. And over here you see the back of one. And uh, so I had the, uh, the canvases made onto a soft timber frame. Um, the dimensions that you can find out below. I just use very small wood screws and um, a very fine gauge wire uh, to, to make these. The, um, the tools themselves are very easy. I'll show you later um, how I did it, but um, you can see that this tension on this wire is actually quite tight. So you can see that um, there, there's the, uh, oh, there was an X there which marked the, the midpoint, but that's very tense. So um, I want this thing to sit very much on the wall and not lean so I've made the tension pretty tight and uh, this screw is about seven centimeters from from this edge here so it's not one of these ones which is going to be say down here and um, the piece hangs very much off the wall it's gonna sit pretty flush in terms of um, production what I am <coughs> thinking is uh, I bought these four um, colors which I'm working with One's a black, and the other dark color, there's a blue. And of course the other one's pretty obvious what they are. These are PVC. I don't know if these are, if these colors are going to be any good, so I'm, I'm just going to do some swatches first and test them out and see if I like them. I'm using these kinds of brushes, right, which I th I'm hoping is, is going to give me with the wrist action. It's going to give a lot of fleck and brush stroke. That you're going to see coming through. I want these things to be quite textured because the apartment they're going into. So a very sort of the theme is rustic. So um, now I have two uh, two ways of getting these um, uh, these pictures on here. Um, once I've painted the the three major colours on the back, um, there's two ways that I can see that I could um, get these on now. I just printed these out A4, and you can see I've got just A4 paper. Probably recognize some of them from the presentation I did earlier. There's the garlic. Okay, so how to get them on there? Well, I, I think there's two ways. One is is that um, I basically draw an outline here very carefully, very faintly, and then as I'm applying the back, back uh, background brush stroke, I try to <clears throat> not go too far into these spaces and then what I do is later I come back and then either with a brush um, or even um, I'm thinking because this is kind of like a woodcut style I was thinking of maybe using an ink pen um, to do it instead either way um, you know you just come back over them and um, uh, just work directly onto this surface okay um, the, the white space you see there I would actually come back and paint white again um, because some of that brush stroke is going to come through. Um, so I would probably come back and paint white in there. The second thing, way that I could see doing it is to actually um, prepare these as separate pieces of canvas. So what I was thinking was <clears throat> I was going to use felt and actually cut them out of felt and then either glue them or stitch them, hand stitch them onto the, the canvas. But uh, when I applied this, it's just um, I popped it on there just to see what it looked like. This is just too consistent, so it's not really um, that interesting. But I've got lots and lots of um, canvas. And so what I can do is I can paint the canvas white and then paint the black parts, cut them out to the shape, and then either glue them uh, onto this uh, canvas and or use a stitch and a, or a stud um, to fix them. So I'm at the moment I'm kind of erring towards the the latter option because I think they'd be quite interesting with these objects sort of slightly sitting off. I think it would look quite interesting and there's also the potential of putting a bit of um, wadding or some kind of um, stuffing material behind here and then stitch it down such that it, it gives it some um, 3D appeal maybe so all this I can work out in production. Uh, first thing to do, I suppose, is to actually get going and painting these. So let's see how that uh, how that turns out. Now I did try hanging these, and 
they hung really nicely. So I did the first one first and then I hung the second one. I'm using tiny little wood screws. Really, really small. And because I'm drilling into soft timber, I just used uh, one of these old hand drills. Um, and this is the wire which you can buy. It comes like this. It's really easy to work with. You just need um, a really good pair of pliers to, um, to cut them. And then um, I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver just to slowly um, take them into the timber. So that's, that's all you need. It took me about um, half an hour to get this far, so it wouldn't take you very long. 